I'm sorry. I need to hydrate. Please understand. Very Your delicious box wine tasting. Not a fresh sangria. I would probably give it. It's a little. It's got a little cinnamon like kick to it. So two out of five red grapes. Sangria breaks all of my rules. Fruit cocktail in the cup, but it's for a good cause. With sangria. Not sangria, that's hunch punch. <laughs> this will put you on your back in more ways than one. Ooh, four and a half out of five claws. You're looking to have a nice day? Have a couple of these. You're gonna be lit by the time you leave this place. Okay. Yes. Don't agree. I'll stick up on you. White sangria? Very um, pineapple y. Maybe a three out of five white grapes, but more pineapple than anything else, which is not my jam. No. So no backside today. We're getting the fresh stuff. <laughs> Congaloosh. Interesting little hop. That's all right. Maybe like a two out of five hops. Also not my jam. Those are called Justin's. Hungaloosh. You had me when you told me it was uh, brewed in Africa, or is it imported beer from Africa. It's nice and dark. Sort of looks like me, I think. <laughs> mm. Why isn't this sold in the Animal Kingdom? It's like really smooth and nutty. It reminds me of like Tusker, but it's got like a slight spice behind it. Like a spiced rum. But not in an offensive way. Like this is very drinkable. This is four out of five plus. I would drink this on a regular, given the opportunity. We have the vegan seasonal soup. It is a that's chickpea the soup. That I got, I've like, never had a chickpea soup before, so that's different. It almost looks like a butternut squash type soup. It's got a little bit of cinnamon in it. But I love me some chickpeas, so let's go for it. It does. It's very thick. Smells but interesting. That's my jam. I mean, imagine they just. I, I doubt they it almost like tastes like it. if a tahini was made out of chickpeas instead of sesame seeds. That's what the soup would taste like. It's almost like an accompaniment, and not necessarily a soup. Like I'd like to put like a little bit of it as like a drizzle on top of maybe a falafel or something. Then it might be a little bit better. On its own, it's average. I'd probably give it like a three out of five chickpeas. We cook chickpeas from dry about twice a week. Yeah. I love the, the, the sort of display of the soup. The green with the little chick, dry chickpeas, roasted chickpeas in it. And the consistency is definitely uh, where I like my soup. It's a plant-based sort of creamy without the plant-based taste. It's got a nice sort of like Indian spice flavor and the chickpeas add a nice little crunch. I like this. I could have this as an appetizer. I don't know if I could order this as a main. Obviously because it's, it's so small. It does feel like it needs like some naan or something to like dip in it. But it's still really good. Three and a half out of five plus. I chose to get an appetizer for my entree because this is a lot of food as it is and that soup is very filling. Chickpeas are filling. And of course, more chickpeas because falafel with um, edamame hummus. So all the chickpeas today. Nice, light, slightly dry. Not as good as the falafel that we've made. We have recreated this recipe and our falafel is better but our hummus is not, not as good. It's definitely an amazing dish. Bring it um, I think I would rate it four out of five chickpeas. It's pretty good. Again, this beautiful family fall falafel. That's still a mouthful. But it still looks beautiful on the plate with all the seasonings, the pumpkin seeds. You guys, again, have seen us make this at home. Um, you know it's not really all that hard to make, but I love how they, they plate this. Go ahead and get a little bit of everything here. 
some radish. What was that? If you're in Magic Kingdom and you're feeling like a light lunch, there's no shame in coming in here and getting this and a beer and being out. It's still a solid dish. Four out of five plus. This is the what the flank soup? Uh sirloin? I don't remember. So we have the uh, signature steak here at Skipper Canteen. I don't normally get steak at Magic Kingdom, but I cannot pass up an opportunity to try it at the very least. Looks beautiful. Perfectly cooked on the inside. Medium rare, like all steaks should be. Even I know that. Ooh. Huh? I love the seasonings on it. It's got a nice texture to it, with like being like spicy, but not like too much spice where I'm like coughing or choking or anything like that. I love the way it's cooked perfectly, seared, juice on the inside. That's a solid steak. I'm not gonna take anything back I've ever said about Magic Kingdom food, but it's still a good steak. <laughs> Four out of five plus. So let's see, of all the places we tried here, this is probably... One of the better ones. Yeah, one of yeah. the better ones. I mean, they have their like, you know, Fair food, I call it. You just eat whatever, you know, yeah. tip this to, for food. Throw away garbage food. Yeah, exactly. Basically. Fair food. <laughs> that pretzel to hamburgers, but. Basically. So I got no. the pad thai chicken and tofu bowl. Decided to get the mix because even I like my tofu from time to time. I love that they proactively offer chopsticks because if I could, I would use chopsticks with every single meal with no shit. Chicken, tofu, got the pad thai noodles in here. Let's we'll see if we can get a little bit of everything. Some peppers. Probably not going to get everything, but that is the joy of having chopsticks. I get to enjoy my food. Mm -hmm. One thing I've said about every noodle bowl on property or otherwise, you ever just get. Noodle bowls die by their broth. The broth is trash and the meal is trash. This broth is amazing. Now, they said that it was spicy. You guys know I'm a spice head. This is maybe three out of 10 on the spice scale. Thank you Barely so even a tickle. But it's enough spice that it goes well with the flavor. I would order this again. Three and a half out of five bowls. Yeah, so Skipper's Canteen. It was great, as always. It's a nice stop. It's definitely the better of the Magic Kingdom restaurants. Agreed. I'll give it the credit where the credit's due. I'd, I'd rather go there than anywhere else. Agreed. But we want to know when's the last time you went to Skipper's Canteen. Let us know in the comments. If there's anywhere else around Magic Kingdom you'd like to see us go, that's going to be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Subscribe. You heard the girl.